both streams part 1 hi i'm daniel souza and welcome to aptitude academy today's topic is going to be on both and streams now in this topic you need to have a basic understanding of four different quantities first the speed of your boat in still water second the speed of the stream third your boat's upstream speed and fourth your boat's downstream speed now once you have a basic understanding of these four quantities you will be able to solve any problem in boats and streams let's get started Now to understand boats and streams, the first thing you need to do is understand what is boat speed and what is stream speed. Now, boat speed is the speed of your boat in still waters. Let us assume that you have a boat speed of u kilometers per hour. Now, the stream speed is the speed of the water that it adds or subtracts from your speed. Now, let us assume that you are in a boat that has a boat speed of u kilometers per hour, and you're riding in a stream that has a stream speed of v kilometers per hour. Now, let's take the first condition. You are riding up the stream, all right? Now the stream is flowing downwards. So now the stream speed is v kilometers. So actually you have a speed here of v kilometers per hour. But your boat is riding this side. So what happens is the stream is opposing your force. So your speed will be u that is your own speed but this will oppose it. So minus v. So your upstream speed will be u minus v kilometers per hour. Now but when you take a downstream speed right you are riding in the flow of the water so this gives an additional boost it's like riding a cycle down down a hill right it gives an additional boost now you've got your own speed of u plus an additional speed of v so your upstream speed will be u plus v kilometers per hour all right now your boat speed is u stream speed is v downstream is u plus v and upstream is u minus v let us assign that a will denote your downstream speed right a kilometers per hour and this will be b kilometers per hour i'm just assigning variables a still is u plus v and b still u minus v all right now in some problems what they give you is that they give uh, is that the downstream and the upstream speeds are given and you have to find your stream speed or your boat speed now this step will help you do that let us see what is a minus b a minus b will give you u plus v minus u plus v right so minus u minus v gets cancelled this becomes 2v Now, this is twice your stream speed. So stream speed. Now let's write a direct formula for that. So we did a minus b, but a minus b is two v. We want just v. So you add this. So it is half of a minus b. Similarly, for your boat speed, it will be half of a plus b. Now this formula you can use directly and find out the answer. All right. Now let's go on and solve a simple problem. Problem one. A man can row upstream at 7 km per hour and downstream at 10 km per hour. Find the man's rate in still water and the rate of the current. So this is a comparatively easy problem, right? They've given you that the downstream A is 10 km per hour and the upstream B is 7 km per hour. They've asked you to find the speed in still water and the speed of the current. Now, speed in still water is nothing but your boat speed. By formula, we know that uh, speed in still water, that is the boat speed, is half of A plus B. Now you have to denote A as a downstream always. All right, because a will always be greater than b. So now half of a is ten, b is seven. So it is seventeen by two, or eight point five kilometers per hour. Now similarly, the speed of the current. Speed of the current is what? Current is water. Speed of the stream. Speed of the stream is half a minus b. That is half of ten minus seven. That is three by two, or one point five. Kilometers per. Hour. This is your final answer. Simple, right? Right. So this was just the first session on boats and streams, where we saw the basics of upstream and downstream and solved a simple problem. In my coming videos, I'll solve more problems on boats and streams. If you liked this video and found this video helpful, do leave me a comment and like it. Thank you. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and do spread the word through Facebook, Twitter, and other social media. Thank you.